said she was 42 year old and was leading her dream life she had just got her book published she had an intelligent 8 year old son and a doting husband but a recurring pain in her back and stomach led her to visit her doctor for a checkup she recalled that her family's world was shattered when she was diagnosed with pancreatic cancer the cancer had already spread it was in stage 3 surgery was ruled out due to close proximity to artery she had to undergo chemotherapy she was scared surprisingly she did not have a hard time with the chemotherapy and her tumor began to shrink this is dr murli subramanian medical oncologist practicing in bengaluru welcome back to my podcast channel cancer care dealing with cancer is obviously a life challenging event for most people fighting cancer stories of brave heart cancer fighters are worth reading and listening to as it can be a time to reduce regrets and make new priorities their lives are a true inspiration for many as they learn to live each day as normally as they can it is all about enjoying the simple things you like to do daily routine things that you had taken for granted before this phase become very important i will give a few tips that can maybe help manage your daily life research shows that cancer fighters have more energy and feel good about themselves when they take part in physical activities such as walking and yoga faith and spirituality faith has a power that can move mountains having faith and hope will help you feel less burdened you have to find the path that will help you find the most comfort it could be through prayer meditation writing in a journal reading inspirational stories or visiting a place that calms you depending on your personality you must find the path going back to work people fighting cancer often want to get back to work as their jobs not only gives them a sense of routine work helps them feel good about themselves and that things can be normal once again but before you go back to work discuss with your doctor and your office mates coping with cancer helps people analyze equations with people you need to separate cancer from the rest of your life your life should not be only about the agonies of having to deal with the cancer before you get overwhelmed and feelings of helplessness creep in learn how to live with the disease and decide how you want to live the rest of your life when you live with hope it automatically becomes easier to live life when you receive the treatment remember that a new chapter begins in your life staying in the memory of agony feelings of self pity will only pull you down constantly being anxious on whether you will be again attacked by the cancer and comparing your life with others will make you more miserable with time and patience you can help yourself manage these emotions and live with hope people can benefit from help and support from friends and family support groups and professional counselors leading a normal life after cancer the surprising part is many cancer fighters have expressed anxiousness when they no more need to meet their healthcare workers the doctors nurses and others in the hospital become an integral part of their life and they feel that they are now alone for some cancer fighters emotions that were put aside during cancer treatment come flooding back all at once these feelings need to be accepted as normal and you need and you need to learn to manage them it is easier to manage your emotions and get back to your normal life if you look at things in a positive light and hope instead of 
spiraling down the negative thoughts but remember that if you're feeling any of these emotions it is normal and don't go beating yourself up for being a negative person also remember that you did not get cancer because of negative emotions or because of some bad deeds they are only myths believe that you are a good person and help your body heal give your mind and body the help it needs to heal it takes a strong person to defeat and live with cancer always remind yourself that you are among the very few lucky ones to have survived the cancer accept yourself and be good to yourself you deserve to lead yourself to a path that will help you heal and lead a fulfilling life i hope this small session helps you in a small way in dealing with cancer do let me know if there is anything specific you want me to address in my next session this is dr modi subramanian signing off